welcome back to my channel to Clement to my channel okay so last time we drew the canvas of a clock of an analog clock using JavaScript so this is what we did so today we are going to draw the face of the clock to make it to look very well so that we can insert the the long hand and the short hand and the two will start ticking away so we saw everything that we did so today we are just going to continue from the next function remember our first function was the draw clock so before we continue if you are new to my channel please make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get notification okay so today we go we are going to introduce a new function and this function we are going to call it we are going to call it draw draw face and this draw face we are going to call in the params remember we already decla declared our variable ctx so we are just going to call it into this function ctx and radius so this is what we are going to call ctx and radius and we want to draw the white cycle so the thing will look very well so to draw it we say ctx dot begin path dot begin path then we put a we put a bracket so from here we close it and what do we do next we say ctx so this this is what you use to draw ctx dot arc then you put your bracket so what do you want is a 3d 0 your y will be 0 and what do you want as your radius remember you already declare your radius as canvas of the height divided by 2 so, so you see radius you already call it there so what next they require your start angle the angle what do you want as your angle 0 and what your end angle you want your angle to be 2 2 times asterisks that's times when you are using javascript then you include your math times pi time dot pi okay so then from there you close your bracket so you are done with it then you close it then from there you say ctx dot Fill style. Fill style. What do you want? Fill style equal to. You want the color to be what? White. Okay. You now close it. And you say ctx. Ctx dot fill. Ctx dot fill. And you put your bracket then close it from here okay so if you check your browser the thing won't work except you call your function you call your function in here and what do you want you call the function draw you call the function draw face you draw it the function draw face into your function draw clock so you call it draw face what that's ctx draw face ctx comma radius okay then you close it let's go and put in a, a gradient and see what will happen after then okay so now to create a radial gradient that's 95% and 105% of the original radius. Now I want to create a gradient. So we are going to include our radiant down here. We are going to include the radiant. The gradient, we are going to declare the variable. We call it grad equal to. To draw your gradient, you use ctx. Remember, ctx is a variable that you already declared it. That's the part that we are drawing. Dot 
dot create dot create radial remember I want to create a radial gradient create radial gradient create radial gradient okay so your x you want it to be zero your y you want it to be zero and your radius then you multiply it by your radius then you multiply it by 0 0.95 comma 0 and also your y1 you also want it to be 0 once your y1 to be 0 ok let me do it way so then your radius your r1 that's your radius you want it to be radius then you multiply it by 1.05 okay so that's what you want your your canvas gradient to be so from here you now close it now now you have to create three colors top corresponding with the inner middle and outer edge of the arc now you want to create three colors for the gradients you know it's a 3d 3d clock that you want to create so you have to give it three colors for the inner the middle and the outer so the first color for the for the gradient grad dot add dot add color dot add color stop dot add color stop then introduce zero comma then which color do you want you want your hash three three so you don't know the meaning of hash three three remember to go and check my recent videos on col colors you are going to find it there Okay, you close it you do same with this one okay let's just copy this control C and paste it down here so the same thing control V then you change this color you don't want this one you want white for this you want white Want white, and here we want 0 0.5. Okay. Then here we want. Okay, same thing. Control Z. We want 0 0.5 also. Okay, so now after you define the gradient. What you have to do is to define the gradient as a stroke style of the gradient object. So you have to define a stroke style. That's CTX. Now that's CTX dot stroke dot stroke style. Now so that the gradient will look very well, you are defining as the stroke style which is equal to you remember your variable that you already created as gradient so after doing that you define the line the width of the drawing object what you want it as a 10% of width so ctx dot line width what do you want as a line width the line width which is equal to radius okay you multiply it by 0 0.1 that's what you want as a line width for the clock okay so now now you want to draw the circle that the two after finally doing all this you must put your ctx dot stroke so that the circle will be able to draw without the ctx dot stroke cannot draw it ctx 
dot stroke stairs dot stroke okay so you close it okay so there's a mistake here we are using letter O instead of zero and here we have double radius so let's remove it okay now we have to do in this function we have to declare a variable declare the variable gradients then we close it okay here we give it one year and stage stroke we put a bracket then we check in the browser to see if it is working now okay now there's many one step to do it here is one let's put a one there's an error there so let's go and refresh it again okay so that's it so you see now you have drawn your gradients you put the color and everything let me show you something here now if I comment this now you want to comment you press your control slash let me comment this place and go back and refresh now see that gradient is no longer there now, let me uncomment it now because of this gradient that added color here there are three colors white and something black now you can see this is black and this is also white and also something like black so that's the that's the color is bringing out the shape of the color now the next step we are going to do is to put a center circle in front of here okay that's what we are going to do that's what we are going to do right now okay so we are going to continue to do what we want here so the next step that we are going to do is to draw the white cycle so for us to draw the white cycle we do ctx dot to draw a white cycle we we are going to introduce a ctx dot begin the begin part then we put a bracket circle then the next step is ctx dot arc ctx dot arc then we put zero x y is also zero then the next step is radius then we multiply it by zero point one comma zero two then we multiply it we multiply it by math we multiply it by math dot dot pi math dot pi then we close this let me just bring let me just scroll down here we close it here okay so the next step we do ctx dot fill style which is equal to then we put a hash three 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 then we close this so we now close it with ctx ctx dot fill ctx dot then we close this okay so we now refresh this okay so you can see this is the center of the circle that is just showed here okay let me just explain this now we want to begin the part this the arc and we start at x to be zero and y is zero now the horizontal part is is a x you want it to be centralized in the middle why the vertical part is a y so you want it to be zero and also zero so the radius also is what you want and 
everything that's your act that you are drawing then you give it a fill star the color that you want it to be then you you earn it by putting this ctx dot fill okay now you have drawn the face of your clock so the next step is for you to insert numbers and also insert the hands so in the next lesson i'm going to show you how to insert the hands and also insert the numbers of this clock i hope you have learned something if you don't understand anything please make sure you comment on the video and also like make sure you subscribe thank you stay safe and see you in the next class thank you